Hey there, it's time for our question of the month and this month's question that I get asked quite a lot by people who come on our tours is, what's with the Pilates signs everywhere around Adelaide? It's not meant to say police, it's not meant to say polite, it is Pilates, which is the surname of Compilites. If Adelaide was synonymous with one name, this would be it. These signs are absolutely everywhere in Adelaide. You can't go down any of the city streets hardly without actually finding one. So what purpose do they serve? Who was Pilates? I'm going to tell you a little bit about the man behind the famous signs. Compilides was born in 1919 to Greek migrants in Port Piri, so a few hours outside of Adelaide. He would end up becoming Adelaide's major property tycoon over the 60s, 70s and even into the 80s. That's why his name is all over the city, because he owns the buildings that the names are on. In the 1970s and 1980s, Hindley Street was a major focus for Compilites to build up his property portfolio. This street still has about 15 or 16 properties with the Pilates name attached to it and the West End is undergoing a revival and it's thanks to the likes of the Pilates family having a lot of these properties for regenerating this side of the city. But the question you might be asking yourself by this point is why did he have to have his name so prominently displayed across all of these buildings? When Con Pilates put these signs up, it wasn't a question of ego. Rather, he was proud of his achievements and also wanted to show what uh, being part of the Australian community could look like for migrants. He also put the names up on his buildings to be able to give migrants the chance to go to these buildings and either seek cheaper rent for their business or to actually gain work employment in one of these buildings. Compilites died in 2001 and there have been a couple of instances in the years since that I guess have been sordid events to do with his family. Um, his son's house was gunned down at one point and also Con's grave was excavated because of a dead cat that they found at the plot. So there's always something going on when it comes to the story of a tycoon, but it doesn't detract from who he was. And on all accounts, he was a great man and a great businessman. And it's testament to that, that these signs do still exist around the city. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up and stay tuned. We've always got a new clip coming up on this channel. We have multiple tours and services which you can find more information about by visiting our website, flamboyancetours.com.au. And don't forget to follow us across social media too so you can stay connected with what we've got going on.